Put the positive to the negative, and the way she goes. Yeah, we'll be here. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I gotta catch a big one. So I bought this uh, 2018 uh, cop car. What first caught my attention is this car actually has a V8 Hemi engine with a all-wheel drive. Now, I do not believe the all-wheel drive is uh, basically offered to the public um, in this specific configuration. You can get uh, the Hemi 5.7. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it is the RT model, uh, but regardless, uh, you cannot get the all-wheel drive. So I thought that was pretty cool to get the all-wheel drive feature. Now, at the auction, this specific car that I'm sitting in right now, this is a uh, previous OPP vehicle, uh, on the disclosure said it was a non-runner. So meaning when you see non-runner, it could be a uh, significant engine, maybe the engine is even shot and no good, or significant repairs required to get the vehicle running. So obviously, you know, we have the shop here. So I decided to take a chance on this one. Some of the other uh, police cruisers uh, basically had small accidents on it. Uh, that's why they were selling it. I do not have a body shop, so I decided to go with the non-runner. So I had the car towed to us because again, it was a non-runner and I didn't want to drive out there and try to get the car and have any issues on the road. So I had it towed. Luckily for me, uh, when the car came in, uh, obviously it, it, it drove off the tow truck, uh, but with, a, with, with hard power steering and all kinds of, uh, seems like a lot of issues. So uh, our technician recommended changing the battery first because those cars do have electronic power steering. And uh, with electronic power steering and, and, and very weak battery, you will not have any power steering and you'll have lots of Christmas tree lights going on on the inside. Why did it get some of the battery anyway? It looks like it went to the beach. <coughs> Those OBPs. So much sand in it. So we went ahead and changed the battery, uh, changed the oil because that was low. The coolant was low as well uh, at the time. Uh, so we topped everything up, changed the oil, topped the coolant up, went for a test drive, the car was running immediately so i realized that i scored this was basically a poor disclosure or uh, an error on the auction side so it's a win for us i will take that win any day um maybe i can give you a little bit of numbers off my head uh the battery was pressed a little bit over 200 dollars uh what would you say an oil change on a v8 maybe a hundred and something odd dollars for an oil change um and coolant we had in the shop maybe fluid top throwing a 40 bucks there for fluid top up okay and uh 300 towing from where i bought it so you could add that number up this is where we've been in the car so far so on a test drive the car was not uh i think we call that running cold so the the, the gauge was not activating on the uh temperature gauge it was not going hot it was it was just staying on cold it was not even registering a temperature so uh and then we started to smell coolant and it was smoking so we're like ah shit. so maybe i guess it really was a non-runner uh on further diagnostic we realized that the heater core hose luckily it's behind the firewall in the engine not like on the inside of the car uh, the heater core hose that supply the coolant from the expansion tank to kind of cool the engine down as well uh, was was leaking uh, so I quickly ordered a hose uh, which is probably about a hundred something odd dollars uh, and had had that hose uh, replaced after the hose was replaced uh, the vehicle basically was running flawlessly so no more engine lights no issues mechanically she is a runner so again we are winning so normally when you buy a cop car everything on the inside is pulled apart the back the back seats pulled out uh, a lot of things are pulled out because they have to have the cage here uh, in order to keep the criminals in the back i mean who knows what stories happen in the back there uh, but we had to uh, try to get the back functional they had some sort of a aftermarket seat belt system in order to i guess lock the criminals in so normally you know when you lock you put your seat belt this way the clicker would be in the middle uh the cops click this the criminals this way i guess uh and there is a clicker on on, on closer to the door so we had to order uh seat belts uh in order to um make sure that is safe so we've already put in well 
actually fun story is I ordered the seat belts thinking that uh, there was no seat belts in the back because you couldn't see it. Uh, but on the further investigation, pulling out all of those door, the, those panels, I found that the, the, the OEM seat belts was kind of hidden behind the pillars over there. So luckily I could have canceled that order. And as you can see, the seat belts are in there right now, but the clickers to accept them are not there. So I ordered some clickers and the middle seat belt. Okay. So we're able to find that. So this is us putting the leather seats and stuff back together. Just putting this car back together, closing it up. We are still missing the center console that I ordered online. It will take a few weeks to come in. Whenever that come in, you probably see it on a later update video. Uh, also, part of having a cop car uh the criminal is not supposed to be able to get out the back or alleged criminal i guess anyway not supposed to be able to exit the car because when they put you in the door there's no door handles to get out so the windows doesn't work it's a dummy switch and then the door handles doesn't work either okay so uh i could have bought a a, a kit a special kit uh to put this together it costs about 500 dollars from the dealer and a few hours of labor we open up the door panel uh, replace the door handle itself, uh, put in all the locking mechanisms to make it lock and uh, changing that switch out. Um, I would say easily this is between parts and labor, maybe about $1,500 uh, worth of work. So if you actually do have a 2018 uh, charger, uh, a previous cop car, and you want to fix those door locks, uh, the complete kit, the lock, and the, the windows, uh, we can do that for you here. We'll probably charge you 1500 bucks and we can get those doors working for you. So now this is all done, uh, uh, more or less, we had it cleaned out. There's a few things that has to happen, which you probably will see in a later video, or I, I would believe in an update video. We, we'd have to fill up some holes in this car because obviously there was a light on the, the pole here. So there's gonna be, there, there is a, a hole there. there. There was some antennas on the top of the car. So there's some holes there. There was another one on the, the, the trunk. So all these holes are gonna have to get filled out and, and kind of painted in and buff the car. So there's a few things that are missing before we have a, uh, a total job as to what this thing actually costs us. So on the future video, if you want to see the final numbers, you'd have to like, subscribe on this video, and I will make a follow-up video for you to t show you the final product. I'll also put out a walk-around video because obviously this car will be for sale. And then once the car is actually sold, I will give you a full price reveal on this project, how much it costs us, and how much money we made on this project. Now, if you are interested in these type of videos, always subscribe to help the channel grow and hit the like button engage so that other people like yourself can find these videos okay because i know there's a lot of people out there who are curious one how much money we make flipping cars and two maybe you want to flip cars one day and you just want to know how this process works so this is what i do those videos for so don't forget to subscribe like share and uh you will see the full cost reveal coming in a later video thanks for watching and i catch you next one peace